Multiple runners are available in GitHub Actions to run our workflows. Those runners are built agents that could run inside Windows, Linux, or macOS virtual machines. Those are managed by GitHub, but we can also create our own runners inside our own virtual machines. This could be useful if you want to customize that runner or customize that virtual machine, and also if you want to add security to that virtual machine by, for example, installing that virtual machine into our uh, on-premise infrastructure or into our own network. To add the new self-hosted GitHub runner, I go here to my repository, then I go to settings, and here I don't have any self-hosted runner, so I'll go to create a new one. Click on self a hosted runner. So that runner could be uh, started inside a macOS machine or Linux or Windows machine. Here I'm inside Windows, so I choose that option. Then you can choose the right architecture here. And then uh, here I have the guide on how to install it. So I have some, some scripts that I need to run here. So first script here, we'll go to create a new folder and then CD inside that folder. So I switch back to my uh, command line here. I'm using PowerShell for this one. Uh, but if you are on Linux, you can use bash. So make sure you are administrator on this uh, uh, console. So, which is the case for me. So I'll go to run create the creation of the directory and then I cd inside that uh, directory called actions runner. After that, I go to download the latest runner package using the command line. So I'll go to use invoke web request in order to download the latest version, which is this one by the day, 2.290.1, which is, by the way, available on the GitHub repository. So that runner actually available on this repository, which is an available on, as an open source project where, where you can see the source code and you can file some issues and pull requests. And you can see also in the releases section, the uh, different releases available for this runner. So for this runner will have a new versions available each time uh, a new, uh, there is a new update and that runner will be able to update itself automatically each time there is a new version available. So let's give this uh, process a few seconds until it finishes downloading the runner. And once it finishes, so I'll go to run the next uh, command, which would be here to go to extract the installer. So I'll go to run that one. So it will go to extract the zip file that was uh, downloaded before. Once that's done, so here if I type ls, I will find the different uh, files like the zip and then the other configuration files for my runner, like the config.cmd and then the run.cmd. Next, let's go to configure our runner. So let's go to create the runner and start the configuration experience. I'll go to copy this uh, script right here, which will go to run the config.cmd file, and then it will provide the URL of my GitHub repository because not this runner is installed in for the scope of my repository, okay? You can also install it for the scope of your organization or of your enterprise, but for now it's only on the repository. And then here I have this generated token, uh, which will be used to, uh, for, so that my, my runner could authenticate into the GitHub Actions. So let's go to run this script. So here it started the registration process. It's now authenticating to my uh, GitHub Actions and the con it was connected successfully and now it tells me to enter a name for the runner group so i'm okay with the default right here so i'll hit enter and then i can choose a name for my runner so it can take the name of my virtual machine or i can also provide another name i will provide another name let's say win 11 laptop and then i can add some additional labels. So by default, those three labels are assigned to my uh, to my runner. Those labels will be used later in the uh, pipeline uh, YAML file in order to assign that pipeline into the runner. So I can add additional labels, but for here, I'm okay with those three. And I'll be able actually to add labels later from the, uh, from the uh, GitHub Actions uh, UI. Next, now it tells me the runner was successfully added and the connection is good. And now uh, it will configure the work 
the working directory so i'm okay with underscore work i'll hit enter for it to accept that and then here uh, it's asking me if i want to run the runner as a service so because of this uh, uh, of this configuration here if i want to say yes i need to be administrator here for this uh, window so uh, i'll say yes and that will allow me to uh, run the runner or to have the runner always running even after the virtual machine restarts because if my machine restarts and this is not running as a service then the runner will not start and when i want to schedule or to uh, uh, or to queue a build on that runner it will not be triggered so i say yes and then i'll go to choose the service for this so i'm okay with uh, this one here network service and then here it's uh, it's starting the service uh, so the service did start it successfully and you can see it here on the task manager if i go to services i can see my actions runner is running right here with the name of my uh, repository so coming back now to the ui here if i go to refresh this page and hit runners again and then i will i should find here a new runner that was added to my github actions repository and that's my win 11 laptop runner so if i click on it here it tells me it's idle it's waiting for a new uh, job to be queued and here it shows me all the labels that i can use to target this uh, runner i can also go to add another one so i'll choose i'll add the one with win 11 uh, laptop i select that one and once it's added now i can use it to target this uh, runner so now how can i schedule a job to run on this runner so the only thing i need to change is runs on and then the name of the runner which is i can use one of these four uh, labels right here like self-hosted for example so let's see how that works so here i have a label or i have a, a pipeline a workflow that i have created before this is just a simple workflow that will run a one line script and multi-line scripts so this is the empty pipeline that you choose when you go to create or to add a new a new build and i have already here made the change here to change this parameter for runs on and then choosing the win 11 laptop or self-hosted or one of the four uh, labels that we have provided uh, uh, right here so let's see how that works now i'll go to actions and i'll go to schedule a build or to schedule running this workflow which is this one here self-hosted runner i'll go to hit run over run workflow and it started provisioning so here if i click on that and then click on build to view the uh, logs coming from github actions here for now it's waiting for a runner to pick up this job so it's looking for any runner that i have with the label win11 uh, laptop and in a few seconds it will find a new one and here it did started the job it did found the runner so the runner will go to download this repository and because here i have run actions checkout and then it will go to run the scripts in my machine of course here i'm just running simple scripts uh, so I, I, that can run in my machine but if i want to run docker containers build docker containers or run some custom software i need to have those softwares installed on my inside the runner uh, machine because it will use these tools from that uh, uh, machine so here it's checking out that application source code so if i switch here to my local machine uh, to view that uh, uh, folder that was created by the uh, runner i would find here inside the work folder that is the folder in which uh, github actions will go to run the pipeline so it will first go to download the repository which is available in here github actions course that's the name of my repository that was downloaded and yeah here it is and uh, then inside the work repository you will find also some other folders for the actions so all the actions used by github actions will be downloaded inside uh, here so you will find the action for uh, the checkout which is this one here actions 
check out and if i was using some other actions they will be downloaded in here and yeah now my uh, my uh, workflow did run it successfully inside my self-hosted runner so that's it. Um, now for more details or more information about the self-runners, GitHub, of course, they have uh, their documentation about self-hosted runners where you will find uh, lots of other uh, useful information available here. I'll put this link in the description below. Thank you.